Hello and welcome to the Ohio Lows podcast, a brand new Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition actual play podcast set in the homebrew world of Therese, a game I play with some of my friends. With me is Fletch. Hi, I'm Fletch, like long walks in the park. I'm a Cancerian and I've been burning offerings to the goddess since the last uh, lunar eclipse. I mean, you got to appease that goddess. And we also have Mimbo. Yep, hey, uh, Phil has demanded that we make an introduction. I'm a lawyer. Um, I also like to play D&D, as you can see, and recently have become addicted to Breath of the Wild. I'm a little late to the party, but there you go. Yeah, it's a pretty good game. I just think we just want to give the audience a bit more insight into our players. We also have Lizzie. I'm the token female of the group. I have been playing D&D for the past couple of years. I'm also a pop culture enthusiast. Excellent, excellent. And we also have the great and only Laurie. G'day guys, I'm Laurie. Control Callum, and I'm super keen to play. And finally, we have Ash. Hi everyone, I uh, play Barakas Sorel, um, the dark-skinned, dark-mooded tiefling of the croup. Uh, welcome all to Fire Lows tonight. Uh, wish us luck in this um, up-and-coming combat. Um, we're going to need it. <laughs> see, we'll see. In our last episode, the group was licking their wounds after a hard-fought battle against some rats, kobolds, and a gelatinous cube. After cremating the remains of the fallen, the other fallen prisoners, they gathered up what they could from the fallen and moved down the largest tunnel from which the cube had entered. They took a short rest in a caved-in section of the tunnel that appeared to be the lair of the cube, and the group got to know each other a little better. After they rested, they continued down the tunnel until a second passage appeared on the left. They ventured down this passage, new passageway to discover a makeshift camp that had been abandoned for some time. They found a small amount of extra supplies, as well as evidence of the conflicts that occurred here, but were unsure exactly what had transpired. After a short investigation, they went back to the main tunnel to continue with their exploration. After a time, they noticed a change in the air and realized ahead of them was a massive chamber full of mushrooms, ranging from the size of large trees to tiny fungi. They also noticed the spider webs that were seemingly everywhere draped across these mushrooms. As they were gathering some of these mushrooms to add to their ration stockpile, the group made contact with the webs, at which point approaching skittering can be heard. And this is where we will jump in and I'll have everyone roll initiative. 10. 15. 16. 14. And 18 for myself. Okay. So I had 10 for Laurie. Remember you had 14? That's correct. Fletch, what was yours? 15. 15 and Liz. 16. 15 as well? 16. Oh, 16, sorry. Uh, perfect. Uh, you guys all rolled pretty well. They, um, all of you except for Calum are before these monsters. What do they look like? Okay, so you guys are hanging out in this large cavern. You can't see very far because of obviously the darkness. Every now and then there's like a tiny flicker of a small light, but it doesn't last long in the distance. As you're touching these webs, you feel the, as you brush against these webs, I should say, you feel the disturbance in the fabric and the makeup of this place and you hear the skittering. Um, and it's, you feel something large coming and basically, um, as the with the, as they get to within sixty feet, and you can start seeing these things with your dark vision, you notice two very giant spiders, um, as well as a couple of swarms of their kin. Ah. Um, and we'll start with Ash. So they're about sixty feet away, um, and sort of um, they're actually not on the ground. Oh, one of the swarms of the small spiders is. Um, the rest are sort of coming in through the webs. So they're up high. Okay, and are any of them climbing down uh, the walls of this cavern, or are they just traversing through the, um, the, the center web? They're coming from the center, actually. Okay. Right. You, guys are pretty um, you guys are still quite close to the walls. You didn't really go very far into this big cavern. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I kind of put my back to... But now I see danger uh, sort of encroaching, so I will 
I mean, I'm no stranger to kind of sensing in the dark um, in, in combat uh, with my blind fights. So kind of know that these um, these spiders, uh, they must have other senses. So I'm going to make my way kind of uh, towards the bulk of them, try, uh, kind of plotting my way, trying to be careful of those, those webs there. Um, to say 30, 30 feet, um, and then I will uh, send out a firebolt. With my uh, right the swarms arm. or the big ones? Um, can you give me an idea of uh, like numbers? Um, so like there's swarms, there's just a little, like there are two like large swarms of spiders. One is just on the ground coming towards you and one is just sort of in the webs. Um, and like moving from the wet mushrooms to um, to come at you. Uh, it's... And then you have the two large spiders as well, that are sort of coming around to sort of, well, there's a bit of a pincer movement to your group. Okay. Let's try to cut down uh, the smaller foes before they uh, come on us. So uh, I think um, I'm going to go for the swarm with a firebolt. Yep, the one on the ground or the one in the webs? Oh, on the ground. Okay, well, uh, the one on the ground still around 60 feet, you said? Uh, well, they'd be around 30 feet away if you moved towards them. Oh, okay. Uh, if they're 30 feet, I might uh, change up my weapon. I will um, uh, grasp my longsword in both hands. Um, I'm getting that extra 1d10 extra damage and might go in for a strike, yeah? Um, well, no, they were 60 feet, so you moved 30 feet closer, didn't you? So now they're still 30 feet away. Still 30. Okay, now I got you. Okay, yeah. So, yep. Uh, firebolt it is. Uh, yep. And I'll just move closer, so I'll make that attack. Okay, uh, and, def- uh, oh, it's an eight. Not oh, great. An eight will unfortunately miss um, the swarm. They're moving quite fast, and you just blast your firebolt, and they just sort of scatter around it. They um, I'll keep away from the uh, webs. Um, get to the walls if you can. If you can range attack. Well, cool. Uh, next up, we have Thistle. Are these um, are these critters away from me? Oh uh, yeah, they're about sixty feet away from you. But the Baracus is marched up to engage. Well, I'm going to stay at a distance, and I'm going to throw a bolt of fire at it. See if I can cause some damage. Okay, so this is a fire bolt. Yeah. Okay. Just a second, you have both. So you have produce flame and firebolt? Yes, I do. But okay. I think the firebolt will cause more damage. Yeah. So that is a 14 to hit. Uh, yep, yeah, that will hit. Yay. And that's three damage. Oh, three wait. Three damage. Five damage, sorry. Five damage. And that was on the ground one or the one in the webs? The one on the ground. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Next up, we have... So you're not doing anything with your movement or bonus action? I'm going to stay where I am. Bonus action. Can't think of anything at the moment, so just move on to the next person. Cool. Okay. We have Tweak next. So you ah! are actually collecting mushrooms to the side, and you're getting beset upon by these spiders. I will cast Ray of Frost at the closest approaching one. Uh, and probably the ones on the ground. Backtrack as fast as I can to get as much distance between me and the spider. Okay, you can like sort of start moving towards the tunnel. You probably didn't move too far away from it. And uh, that's eleven to hit. Eleven will just miss. You sort of just blast your ray of frost off to the side, and they just slot, move out of the way as they're heading towards Baracus. And that'll end my turn. All right. We also next we have Chuck. I am also going to fire bolt, but I am going to target the web close to the monsters instead, and see if I can set it on fire. All right. Making me look up spider webs in Dungeons and Dragons. Probably should have done this before. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Um. Roll to hit, I suppose. Eleven. Eleven. I'm just going to look up the web spell. Okay, that, that fire, yep. Yeah. Um, how much damage? Rolly damage? Nine damage. Nine fire damage. Okay, 
nine fire damage. Yeah, okay. Um, you burn up a big section of web, and so you were going for one of the large ones, like in that set around that section. That is correct. Okay. Okay, so it's going to take some fall damage as it falls through the web. Um, okay, it takes nine fall damage and lands prone on the ground. As the web underneath it, as the web it's sort of moving towards get blasted underneath it and it just falls, plummets. Cool. Is there anything else you want to do on your turn with your movement or bonus action? Try to like move away from the spiders. So you're going to move back with Tweak? That's correct. Okay. Ooh, that's fine. This is my whole get out. Stop complaining, Goblin. Okay, next up we actually have the giant spiders. Okay, so the one that's prone is going to get up and is going to shoot a web at you, Brachus. Uh, it's cocked. And uh, that is a 16 to hit. Uh, 16 AC hit. Okay, so you don't take any damage, but you get restrained by some web. Um, and it's going to get up and then move 15 feet closer towards you. The other spider is going to move down towards you and try to attack with advantage because of you're restrained by the web. Um, and I just rolled two nat 20s. Uh -uh. Sorry. Um, let's see how yeah, the damage fits. Well, the damage is good. Um, so that's 15 damage, and I need a con saving throw for poison. Okay, I believe I'll take that at advantage um, because of my tiefling heritage. But uh, if that helps, a 13 on the con save. 13. Big hit though. Definitely a pass, and you take four more poison damage. That's definitely a big hit. And you okay. have this one giant spider engaged with you. And I actually fall unconscious in the middle of this web. Okay. Okay. My grunting just gets thunked. <sighs> That was the giant spider's turn, though. That was a good round for them. Next up, we have Callum. Well, hearing um, my companion go down, I would rush towards him, um, and then on the way there, I suppose, I would see the spider. Yes. And, um, yeah, I'd totally just engage him. Okay. So I would use Favoured Foe um, to... Oh, no, I use that on hit, don't I? Yeah. Unless you, if you have, oh, I don't think you have anything bonus action to do yet. I do not. So that is a 18 to hit. That hits. So I will use favorite foe. That's 10 damage total. That's a big hit. It sort of, yeah, you stab into it and it shrieks back and coils and it definitely focused on you now. Anything else with your turn? Nope, that'll be it. Okay. I'd, well, I suppose I'd just try and get in between um, his down body and the spider. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So next up, we have the swarms, and they're going to move. Um, one of them is going to... They're going to they're gonna dash to get to anywhere near your group at the moment. So one of the one on the ground is actually going to dash and go to you, Callum. It's going to... They're going to start scrolling all over you, but they're not going to attack this round. Um, the other one is going to dash through the webs, and it's going to start heading towards the tasty, tasty meat on the other side. Um, and we're back to the top. I'm going to need Barakas to make a death save. Okay. The death save of the night. Let's hope it's a good one. And it's a, it's a stabilizing nat 20, folks. Oh, are you serious? Holy well shit. Done. Holy shit. I don't think shit. I've ever... Has anyone done that um, in the, throughout the career of gaming? <laughs> it's uh, it's a lucky one. <laughs> it's a pretty good one. So that's the start of your turn, then? 
You are at one HP at the start of your turn. You are prone. You wake up to see Callum standing above you, engaged with this giant spider as swarms as, as this swarm is upon him. Uh, I'd call that a lucky, uh, lucky roll. Well, I got two of them. You get one of them. <laughs> yeah, double crit. That was uh, something, something amazing. <laughs> Okay, what would you like to do? You have a full turn. All right, I am going to disengage, crawling out of there. Um, now I'm, I'm restrained. What, what kind of? Can I get an idea of like what that'll involve, or do I just um, have to kind of figure it out? You might need to cut yourself out or do a, ch a check to get out of the web. Yeah, you are still restrained by the web, so you can make a strength check to get out of it. Strength check. Um, can I uh, can I use my uh, longsword to to cut with any uh, with any kind of better success? So it's gonna still require the. Yeah, you could use your you could use your longsword. Um, it would be a disadvantage because the restraint, but you could definitely. It's we already established it has a pretty low AC. The um, the athletics though won't be a disadvantage, correct? Maybe uh, I should no. just try brute force this. Uh, it's okay. just pure strength check. Not yeah, athletics. I'm going to I'm going to grunt my way and and try to kind of athletic so it. Let's have for a good roll, everyone. The twenty-two on the athletics. Nice. Um, yeah, you bust out of this web. Wow. Um, that was your action, though. Yes, absolutely. Um, I I'm currently kind of prostrate with this spider above me, or did Callum kind of come in um, and? Cut, cut, buffer the distance. Yeah, like Callum's kind of sort of away. shielding you, so giving you like half cover essentially against this spider. Okay, um, half cover. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get out of uh, his way and, and fight from the back lines here. I'm gonna try to disengage. Okay. Uh, well, you've used your action to get out of the web, so they will. Oh, they, they that is true. You, yeah. But you, uh, your AC is essentially boosted by Callum. But it would be, it would be. Um, the attacker would get advantage, I'm, I'm assuming, because I am on the ground. Um, so I to get up. You could get up, though. Yeah. Um, maybe maybe I'll just stay here. I'll stay here. I'll get up. Um, and, I, and I'll just kind of, yeah, stay low. Yeah, you can just count them as a bit of a shield. That's fair. Okay. Let's try that tactic. Next, we have Thistle. So what I'm going to do is the same thing again. I'm going to try and uh, blast some fire at the bastard that took down Paracas. Okay, that's the big spider that Callum's engaged with. Yeah, um, help out a bit. There's a big, big thing. It's the size of a horse. Oh, even more fun. Uh, will an 18 hit? Definitely hits. 4 plus 3, and that's 7 damage. 7 damage. You blast it with fire, and it... It looks hurt. Um, it's starting to get crispy, and it got cut pretty bad by Callum as well. How far away is it from me? Um, you moved back, didn't you? So Yeah, I did. I was just kind of curious about distance. So it's probably about 50, 60 feet away? All right, then. Cool. Um, I think that's about it with me. Okay. Weak. I will level the spider that's chewing on my friend at this time. Um, so is that a big one, or...? Um, is that the swarm that's on Callum? Uh, the swarm that's on Callum. Okay. I will shoot it again with my Ray of Frost. Ooh, roll to hit. And that'll be 16 to hit. That's a hit. And I will do 1d8 damage. Three points of frost damage. They lose points. 10 points of movement. Three points of, and they lose 10 points of movement. That is good to know. And Remind I will me if I forget that word. Scooch into my hole as far as I can. Yeah, you can sort of get a little bit of cover um, in the tunnel. Okay, that's your turn. That's my turn. Cool. Next up we have Chuck. Yeah, I'm going to take another shot at the web. Um, and try and light it on fire. Um, this time, 
So at the moment, the spiders aren't really in the web. They're all on the ground, um, except for the swarm of spiders that's sort of that's on, it's still in the air moving towards you. Um, if you want to go for that one, it's currently untouched. Yeah, I'll do that. And uh, 15. Um, 15 will hit. Yeah, roll your damage. Although it's unlikely Not that. to least matter. Not that much to fire damage. Okay, two fire damage. Actually, that means the web is still intact. Um, um, I will give the swarm a deck save to avoid the spiders. Let's call it DC 12. Um, eight plus one, so they fail. So they're going to take a little bit of fire damage on their turn. Oh, I'll just do it now. They take one fire damage from some fire. But they're in some fire right now, and the web is ca- the fire is catching around them. Cool. Anything else? I will um, use my bonus action to create a telepathic link between me and Callum. Oh. Sounds good. Um, okay, it is the giant spider's turn. Um, so one is engaged in combat with Callum, and it's going to roll to hit, um, and that is a. Uh, 14 to hit? That's AC. That's Yep. So I need a con save. So it's 7 piercing damage. 11? And that's pass. You still take half damage. Um, and that's, so that's a total of 7, so half to 3, so 3 poison damage. Jay, it's still a big hit. Um, cool. And then the other giant spider is going to um, see if it recharges its web. Um, it does not. Um, and it's going to move and try to go for Barakas. Um, but that is only a 12 to hit, so that's going to miss. It is a miss. Okay, this is the one that's taken, just, it's only taken the fall damage. When it fell. Um, but that's the giant spider's turn. Um, Callum, you are currently swarmed by some spiders, and you also have this giant spider in front of you. It's quite badly hurt at this point, though. Yeah, that's kind of what I was hoping. A 13 to hit? Uh, that just misses, unfortunately. Damn it. Uh, okay, so I will also use my second wind. Okay. Okay, so we have the swarm of spiders turn. Um and so the one that's on Callum is going to try to bite. Um and that's a twelve. You miss. That's a miss. Um and then the one that's in the fiery web is gonna continue dashing towards this meat in the back. Um Yeah, I think you can move away from the fire, but it's it, it's fast enough to move away from the fire, but the 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 web is starting to catch on fire now. Okay. Barakas. Okay. Um <clears throat> the um the uh, the spider that uh kind of uh, was about to attack me, about to eat me. Um it's about 10 feet away. Um but it's standing in its own web, yeah? Uh, they're, still, they're both on the ground at this point, so they're not really on the web anymore. And you're kind of fighting back to back with Callum against these two giant spiders. Oh, it's not standing on the web? The web that it tried to restrain me in, it's kind of not standing on in that web? Um, high or lows? Um, <clears throat> let's go for lows. <clears throat> uh, now that's 70, no. It's not, it's not currently standing in its own web. Okay, um, well, first things first, uh, I am going to um, use an action to uh, do a lay on hands on myself. Uh, I'll do, I have to, I'm going to have to uh, lay 10 points of healing into myself. Okay. I get back up. Um, 
Yeah, okay, I'm going to uh, use my movement um, before that second one charging in uh, reaches me and I'm going to uh, back away. Um, we'll get an opportunity attack on you. Oh, it is within five feet? Yeah, one of the, the second one tried to move in on you. So you essentially got, you're fighting back to back with Callum with these two giant spiders um, coming at you. Oh, okay. Um... One of them's quite badly hurt. One of them's not that bad. Uh, I think we're stuck here, mate. Yeah, okay. Um, just don't know if I would have healed if it's right up against me, but... Uh, I'm gonna, I'll let you take it back if you weren't sure what was going on. Yeah. Yeah, so the one right up against me is the one that's damaged? I mean, you can go for either of them and they won't get an opportunity to attack. the way you're fighting back to back with Callum, it's fine. Yeah, I might, I might then try to, if I am within reach, I will go for the, the injured one. Okay. Um, but I, I will grip uh, my longsword in two hands. Um, so I'm going to go for the, instead of the one, one D8, I'm going to go for the one D10, <clears throat> some of us might know. Um, make a swing. Yeah. And that's a 21 to hit. That uh, definitely hits. Flash with eight points of, of damage. Eight points of damage. You take a mighty swing into this thing, and it looks like it's barely holding on, but it is still here. Okay. This all. I'm gonna start muttering a, a few words under my breath, and I'm gonna put guidance on Callum, and. Oh, I think is a touch spell, and they're about oh, fifty feet away from you. So you want oh, to Oh, are they? Get okay. Well, I'll do. Oh, I was going to move forward closer to them, so okay. I can. I guess I'll reverse that. So I will then move myself forward to help out Barakas and Callum, and then, I'm, like I said, I was going to give Callum guidance. Uh, you're too far away. You won't be Still? able to get there on your turn. No, you're there, they're about fifty feet away from you because you backed up. Liz, I oh, totally okay. give you permission to steal my kill. You want me to? Oh, I didn't know if you wanted me to, but I can do that. All right, another fireball. Okay, Nine so you got, and the injured one or the almost or the other one? Almost dead one. Okay, all to hit. Twenty-three to hit. That, hit. that hits. Blast! You blast this spider with your firebolt, and it blasts in damage. It had one hit point left. You can roll damage, oh, but it okay. doesn't matter. <laughs> um, and it just shrills up. It just that. Uh, and then it just curls up on its back with all its legs curled around. It is dead. Yeah, I got five damage. <laughs> you. Okay. Um, and I assume you're moving closer towards them. We well, said that. Yep. So that's yeah, your move. turn. Um, tweak. Oh. Um. Well, there's not much left for me to do except for shoot another ray of frost. Uh, hmm. So you got the swarm in the, um, basically it's right above Thistle in the web coming towards you guys in the back group. Um, and then you also have um, the one giant spider engaging with Barakas and the swarm of spiders on Callum. So what would you like to go for? Are the spiders relatively close together? Is this fight sort of close together? Um, you're probably, you're about 50 feet away from the main fight with Calum and Barakas, but you also have this swarm of spiders heading towards you. On up, It's like I'm still up in the web, which is currently burning. Okay. I will cast Fairy Fire on the spiders, as many of them as I can. So you'd only be able to get either this one swarm or one giant and one swarm, but you'd also get Callum. Or you could get one giant without Callum, but you couldn't. Yeah, they're not. There's sort of this two sections of thing going on. Okay, I will just cast it on the swarm. That's the most lively of all the spiders. Yeah, yeah it's the one that's still moving. Yep, yeah. and it's moving towards you and it hasn't taken much damage. I will cast it, and I will get out of my... I'll, I'll run as far away as I possibly can. How much... What's your DC? My DC It's going it's to fail with a 10. It's, it, it's lit up as well as the um, spider web gets all lit up as well, that area. Um, and it does shed some light in this otherwise fairly dark place. Okay, that's your turn? Yes. 
Um, Chuck. Well, I'm going to take advantage of Tweak's spell, and I'm going to target the swarm. Okay. With a fireball, I'm assuming? That is correct. Cool. Roll the hit. Got advantage. Uh, yep. And I'm going to need it, because I rolled a six. Hmm. The AC is not great. Nine. I rolled a 19 uh, with yeah. advantage. Yeah, that's so, definitely a good hit. Okay. Um... And three fire damage. Three fire damage. It still hurts. Yeah, Um, cool. I'm going to ask Callum if he's okay telepathically and silently, and then I'm going to run off. You're running off with Tweak to get away from things? Okay. Um, It's like, come back, goblin. (laughs) Get the fuck away from me. Fight's not done. Um, cool, cool. Um, okay, it is the giant spider's turn. Um, I'm going to roll to see who it goes for, whether it goes for Callum or Barakas, now that its um, partner's been slain. Um, okay, so it is going to go for Barakas. Um, it's going to try to hit you. Uh, but there's only a 10 to hit. Go down, ah, rolling five. Wings out of the way with <laughs> Start all this so adrenaline st- going on. Started out so strong on the dice, and now I'm just rolling fucking fives and sixes. What are you going to do? Um, that's its turn. I may as well see if it recharges this web. <laughs> not that it's going to use it. Uh, it does not. Callum, you still have this swarm all over you, um, which has taken a bit of damage, and then you have the giant spider with you, which is engaging Barakas. Moving out of the swarm, would I get an attack of opportunity? You would, as you move, as you move away from it. But you can attack them without impunity. It's just you want your weapon, you know, is not particularly effective against swarms. Yeah, I was more thinking to try and get a flank on the spider with Brachus. Mm. You can fight, you can engage the spider without taking an opportunity to attack. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. You might be able to flank with him without taking, without opening yourself up. Yeah, that's exactly it. Um, yeah, I'll stay where I am and just, um, try attacking him. So may- maybe Barakas can try and do what I was going to do. Yeah, maybe. Um, so you're going for the big one? Swing and a miss. What'd you get? I rolled a four. So. I rolled a four, yeah. That will definitely miss. Okay. That's your turn. You're standing your ground. Yep, that's me. Cool. So the swarm on you is going to try to hit you. Um, which is with a nine another six um for a nine um and then the other one is going to climb down and go for thistle it's going to move into thistle space because she's the closest one to it um but it gets a three it gets a six but now you you're swarmed by this other swarm thistle oh that's easy to deal with okay um and next we go back to the top with barakas um, okay. Um, yeah, so what are my options for movement here? We've got the big, um, the big baddie, um, quite, quite an untouched uh, spider there. Yeah, you and, which you and Callum are engaging. Callum is also swarmed by some spiders, but they're, um, they're just engaging him. They're just biting on him. Well, not actually biting effectively. And, and we're kind of, we are kind of flanking this, uh, this big uh, monster. Okay. You're not, you're side by side, but you could move to flank. I, I will do that. Okay. Uh, stay within threat, and I will move to flank and uh, take another big swing. And see what I've got. Uh, yeah, you don't take an object if there's swarm because they're. So it's a 19 to hit. That's uh, a hit. Yeah. Um, and six flashing. Six. Uh, Excellent. Uh, cool. Um, second up, we have thistle. See. Okay, so I've got this swarm around me. Yes. Well, I'm going to activate my Halo of Spores. Ah, interesting. Um, yeah, I think you could have done that when they moved into your territory. Um, I was just double checking then, but yeah, I'm definitely activating my yeah. Halo of Spores. So, um, I, need I, have... a con- I think you need to do a con saving throw. Yeah, I'll roll. Uh, at the seven. And that's a little, little fail. That will fail, so that's four uh, damage right there. Four poison, right? Uh, 
Necrotic. <laughs> Necrotic. And so that's actually your reaction before your turn start, because it moved into your space, and that's when that would have happened. So now you have your full turn. Oh, sweet. And I'll throw a 50, 18 to hit the swarm with my uh, fireball. You're going to have to roll with disadvantage as they're swarming them, like, literally in your space. And fairy fire would give her advantage, so that, that'd be... Oh, ah. yes, you're right. It would cancel okay. out. These are these are glowing... This is a glowing swarm of spiders. What colour is your fairy fire, Tweak? It's uh, a bluish tinge and sparks radiated. Very nice. Uh, yeah, so 19 hits, roll damage. Okay, uh, damage. That's a six. Six. Okay. All of a sudden, this swarm is looking somewhat depleted, but still biting, trying to bite hard. Okay. Oh, game on. Um, so if you move, they will get an attack of opportunity. But... I'm going to stay where I am to deal with these guys first. Okay. Um, next, we have Tweak. And also, remember the 10 movement, too. Um, yes, the, that one that one hasn't actually moved since you hit it with the frost, ray of frost. Okay, I'll hit it with another ray of frost, seeing it's so effective. Um, yeah, the one that's swarming Thistle. Yes, and that'll be 13 to hit. 13 just hits. Seven points of damage! Frost damage. Blast this swarm with a bunch of with a hard ray of frost, and it looks quite depleted. There's only a handful of spiders left, but they still seem hyper aggressive. I actually should have rolled advantage. Yeah, see if you get in that twenty. No, it didn't. <laughs> Seventeen plus. Definitely hit. Um, yeah. Do you want to? You can continue running away with Chuck, or going back. I should probably turn around to help my friends. Chuck, stop being a bitch, and come back and fight. Well, I'm not the one that's running away, I'm just following you. <laughs> um, okay, um, that was Tweak. Um, Chuck, you're up right next, right after. I was so just... what, do I, what am I looking at at this point? Um, so there's a swarm on Thistle, which is mostly depleted. Um, ahead of that, probably about 80 feet away from you guys, you can't really see what's going on uh, that far because you guys have been moving away. <laughs> Is the swarm coming towards us still coming? No, because it's on Thistle. It's like uh. Thistle is lit up by this glowing swarm. Um, there is also a glowing bit of web and mushroom up the top, but the fire is basically caught catching up to that now. There's quite a bit of fire happening up. There's actually quite a bit of light at the moment because of all the fires up in the like mushroom trees that are coming from the web. Like, if you don't yeah. do anything about this situation, there's gonna be a big fire. Well, can I do anything about it? I don't know. Uh, good question. Uh, does prestidigitation work? I mean, it could help. Um, it, mm, it could help a little bit, but it's probably it's not really designed for that. Um, but at the moment, you still, have, you still have en you still have enemies, though. Yeah, but like. Uh, I'm gonna be concerned that if I try to, can I try to mind sliver the um, swarm, or is that yeah, not... you can. I'll try and do that, although I'm not too sanguine about that. Uh, so the swarm that's on thistle—that's the only one you can see actually right now, anyway. Yeah. And How you far can, is it? They're probably about fifty feet away from you. I think that's um, still in range. Yeah, I think. So. Yes. Yeah. I won't move any far further, and I'll try to mind sliver it. It's a. Uh, I get a nine. Yeah, nine's definitely not enough. So I will roll damage. Psychic. It is one d six. Yes, one d six. Such a good spell. Fun spell. Uh, one psychic damage. <laughs> Somehow, you reach out with mind sliver. And there's like half a dozen spiders still swarming over Thistle. And somehow with your weak little one damage, you manage to grab hold of this half a dozen spiders and just squeeze. And they just fall. They, oh, they're, wow. still, they're still glowing. Because Fairy Fire still works like that. So you've got these glowing spiders just fell off of Thistle with that. Um, yeah. Anything else with your turn? 
yeah, that's it for me. Um, okay. He would have heard in his head as a reply from me, I forgot to say this during my turn, that um, fucking spiders, fucking everywhere. One, One's dead, but... Oh, God. That's it. Okay, well, if I hear that, I'm going to move towards the... Like, where I knew Callum to be. Yeah, you can still hear the fighting over there. Like, you can hear the swing of swords. You just can't see it. But you can... If, if you take your movement to go there, you can see it. Like, it'll be on the edge of your vision there. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, okay. So, it is the giant spider's turn. And it is going to continue going for Barakas. Um, and that is a 19 to hit. Hit. Um, and that is... Um, 1d8. What it's going to be Barakas on the ground is what it's going to be. Nine piercing damage. <laughs> um, All right, down I go. Okay, you technically need to make a con save. Funnily enough, yeah. You get poisoned. You're poisoned for an hour. Um, I forgot this earlier, which is probably a good thing. But yeah, you go down. Okay, Callum. Shit. Yeah, I just will... I won't necessarily attack the spider, but I'll kind of try and get its attention and try and... I'll just take the dodge action. Okay, give me a... Like, give me a check. Give me, like, an intimidation performance. Um, They're all zeros, so let's just roll. Let's just roll. A six. Yeah, sort of... You're not sure if you got its attention. Um, okay, you still have a swarm on you. It is the last swarm here. Here it hits. Um, that is also a 19 to hit. Uh, disadvantage? I did dodge. Uh, no, I did not roll with disadvantage. You're sort of yeah, hopping around trying to get rid of this swarm of you. Um, yeah, that turns it a, that, that into a 9. So that is a miss. Good. Um, okay, back up to the top. Um, Barakas, I need another death saving throw. Okay, another one coming up. Ooh, ooh, it's a ten. Oh, that's a save. That's a save. That's that a success. A, that is just a success, guys. Just a success. Yes, but it is a success. Cool. Um, thistle. See the tiefling floor to the ground again. It seems to be like a recurring theme. So especially when they stay up and fight. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. Well, there's, there, there's only two of you that don't run away from the fights, so... Yeah, so let's send in the woman. Uh, how far is Callum and um, Barakas' uh, corpse from me? Mm, about 30 feet away from you. Oi, I'm um, not a corpse yet. I said... Oh, <laughs> that got mixed up, sorry. <laughs> well, not yet. Um, so I, I'm going to make that movement and I'll help out Callum. Um... With the halo of spores, does that mean if I move next to Callum, will, will the infestation in front of him? Uh, no, they they have to move. Mind? It has to move into your territory, I believe. Yeah, I, yeah, I wasn't I'm... sure. Like if I was next to him, that um, I could get that extra because they'll be in the ten feet of me, won't they be? Yeah, but I think um, they have to move into your space or something like that. If I'm if wrong. They... If they start their turn there, they should do it. Okay, they, so yeah, they'd have to... Yeah, so on their, on their turn, you can use your reaction to get them. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. It'll be on cool. their turn there. That's cool. And I'm going to throw a bolt of fire. Um, um, at the big one or the swarm? I'll only deal with the big one. Okay. So... 18. That hits. And... D10 for damage. And that's five damage. Five damage. You blast this with a, with a firebolt. Um, it hurts. Um, and it looks like it's almost going down. But, like, so does Callum. Uh, okay. Quick. Cool. I will try to shoot the big ones now. The... The uh, small spiders are all dead. Yeah, you'd have to run back in and sort of right on the edge of your vision, you'd be able to... Oh, but there's a swarm on Callum and there's a big one going for Barakas. Uh, Barakas looks like he's uh, he's having a hard time. I'll, I'll shoot the big one at Barakas. Okay. 
12? 12 is a miss, unfortunately, for the big guy. Uh, and I'll move a bit more into range. There's nothing on my flank. Oh, yeah, I think you would have had to move into range to even get that shot because you were running away. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's a light, actually. So, no, you'd actually be able to... You would Because of the fire, this place is a bit lit up now. Um, yeah, so you can move your movement closer. Yep, yeah, cool. I have dark vision up to 60 feet, too. Yeah, but you moved further away than that. So, at, at, like, yeah. you're probably... At the start of your turn, you were probably about 80, 90 feet away from Callum fight and Baracus fighting the spiders because you'd been moving away. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can move closer. Yep. Um, cool. Chuck. How far am I from Callum and Baracus? I mean, I think you're about the same as um, as Tweak, yeah? So about 80, 90 feet. Oh, no, you, no. Or did you, no, you already moved closer. So you'd, probably, you'd be about 50, 60. 50, 60. Okay. And... Um, is um, Callum and Baracus both down? Uh, no, Callum's still up, but he's got a swarm of spiders on him, and Baracus is down with a giant spider looming over him. Okay, and so there's a giant spider and a swarm of spiders at the moment, correct? Yes. And okay, and the and I remember like the very fired ones already dead. Yeah, they're already dead. They're still glowing, but they're, okay. you just walked so, over them. I'm gonna mind sliver the big spider. Okay. I need to roll a saving throw. Yeah. I fail. Okay. Well, then you take 1d6 damage psychically, which is 4 in this particular case. 4 damage. Okay. It looks like it did not enjoy that, but it is still standing. Okay. Um, okay. How far is this all away from... The two of them. This was only about 10, 20 feet away, about 20 feet away from the group. Okay, cool. I'll move another 30 feet forward. Okay. okay. So it is the giant spider's turn. The thistle, did you want to use your reaction? Yes, I do. Okay, so that's a con save. I get a 16, so I think I pass, but it would still take half damage. Yeah, how do you. Yeah, it's a two. A two. How would you like your halo of spores to kill this giant spider? I eject all the spores from my body and it's just going to, and I'm going to fly them at this evil little critter that's a, that's killing the tiefling consistently. I think I almost like, you've got all these mushrooms over your body, yeah. I almost like in your rage in combat, you basically just like, one of them basically just shoots off of your body, hurls at the spider and just shh. And that like, you see this that like spore <laughs> cloud just like engulf the spider, and it just start, it just keels over with its legs crawled up. That works too. <laughs> cool, Callum. I don't think I'll be doing much damage to the swarm of spiders. See, I, they're kind of hard to hit. So I think I will just keep taking the dodge action, and just okay. kind of keep their attention. Yeah, you're just like just dodging around this swarm um, as they're trying to bite into you. Um, okay, so it's the swarm's turn. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't think they're very. I don't think they're smart enough to run away. And um, that's a twelve to hit. That'll be miss. That's, that's a miss. Um, okay, back to top for Rackus. I need a death saving throw. Oh, it's a failure. Five. Five, so that's one success, one fail for Baracus. And then we are back to Thistle's turn. So you still have this swarm on Callum, and you have the unconscious Baracus on the ground. And you are close I'm enough gonna, to get them. I'm gonna. Can I step over the Tiefling's body? Yes. At all? Yeah. Oh, cool. And I'm going to uh, hit the swarm again with um, a fireball. That you seems to be working for me. I mean, you don't have to. You don't have to. If, if you do that, you'd be doing it at a disadvantage anyway. So you can just keep your distance if you want to do fireball. You can just yeah, you just roll the hit. I'll do it at disadvantage. Okay. And I get three to hit. Yeah, the three misses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, I've been doing good up till now. Um, but no, I think that's it from me. You move to engage it. Cool. Uh, tweak. 
So you're about 60 feet away um, from where Callum is fighting. He's got the swarming on the spiders and the giant spiders are all dead. Um, and Barakas is on the ground coughing up a little bit of blood. I will move in as close as I can and fire another ray of frost. Roll to hit. That'll be a 17. That hits. And eight frost eight. damage. Max damage. Yeah, you blast a whole bunch of these spiders off with that huge ray of frost, and they're looking a bit hurt now. And I'll get as close as I can. Okay. Um, Chuck. Yep. Um, I will now turn. mind sliver again. Okay, your mind sliver the swarm. All right, I will roll. And um, that is a nine. Oh, does not succeed. It gets a monumental headache, six psychic damage. Um, that's how much it had left. How would you like your mind sliver to destroy this, the remains of this swarm? All their little brains pop. So it's like little pops at the head. Just the little bit. It's all like that. It's um, it's quite um, it's gonna haunt your dreams, Callum. Um, the screams of these spiders is their my is their brains explode. Is it like bubble wrap when you like twist it? <laughs> oh, that'd be nice. Oh. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. That is the end of the uh, enemies, but we are not out of initiative. Um. That's, what are you doing? Are you doing anything with your movement bonus action? Um. Yeah, I'm gonna like turn to Tweak and say, you know, you seem to have some magic related to ice. If you could see your way to perhaps putting out the fires. And I like gesture to like the trees and the webs that are alight. Yeah, so there's two pretty big fires happening up in the webs right now. They're not huge, huge, but like they're catching on. And there's so much web and big mushrooms in this place that apparently are like trees. Um, there's a chance that like a decent sized fire may start. But it hasn't started yet. It's only been a handful of seconds. We could just do some back burning in this room. Um, okay. So that was Chuck's turn. It is, uh, it is Callum's turn. You are no longer fighting spiders. I sent my, my friend down in the right next to me, so I'm going to just turn around and try and um, do a medicine check. Cool. Give me a medicine. Nope, that's a seven. That's a seven. Okay. Baracus. I'm going to need another death saving throw. Oh, there you go. Another success, but I'm edging closer. Two success, one fail. Thistle. The unconscious tiefling is below you, but they are. You're not sure what their status is. I guess I could check to see the status of the tiefling and go from there. So. You could I mean it would try be a medicine stabilize. check to do that, or you could just try to stabilize them. So either way, it's a medicine check. Uh, that's a sixteen. Yeah, that's definitely a pass. Barakas, you are stabilized, but very much unconscious. Um, but we are out of initiative completely now. Uh, except there are fires. Um, what are you guys doing in the immediate? Seeing as Barakas is okay, I will start putting out the fires as suggested. Yeah. By firing. Indiscrim indiscriminately at them with the uh, ray of frost. Cool. Um, I hey, think. Watch where you're shooting those things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think with um, this was idea of doing a little bit of backburning to like take care, of, so get rid of the worst fuel. Your ray of frost to put out the immediate dangers and a little bit of prestidigitation just to sort of. You know, snuff out any room. little flames. I think you can make sure this fire doesn't spread too much, but like there was a, there's a nice little chunk that got a pretty bad singe. Seeing there's not much I can do to help with that, I'd probably just uh, pick up Brax's body and just kind of take him to a bit of a safer area. 
Um, I mean, you're not too far away from the tunnel that you came in on. Like, you can sort of retreat to sort of there, like, where you have at least walls. Yeah, yeah, just so no burning web falls on us. And... Yeah. Uh, why don't you give me a perception check? Okay. Ten. Okay. No worries. Um... Why well, doesn't everyone else except for Barakas also give me a perception check? But with disadvantage because you're sort of doing other things with your magics. It would have been a net 20, but uh, 8. Um, that will be 18 disadvantage. Okay. Four. Okay, so Thistle, you're the only one that hears it. And it's actually good that it's you. Um, you hear something, but you also sense something. And it's a sense you're not really sure how to identify it, but it's just a sense that there's something approaching. And then you hear it, just a... Mm. Okay. Um, is anybody near me or around me so I can relay this information to them? Yeah, you're working with Tweak and Chuck to sort out the okay, fires right yeah, now. I'm just, just confirming that it's them two with me, so I tell them what I hear, and just to keep your guard. Will do. Giant. Giant Tess, I you, guess. You really like labelling um, individuals, don't you? Gives me something to do. Fair enough. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, start back burning this room. Um, um, just bit by bit, like, controlled. So I'll start from, like, the left and work my way around to the right. Yeah, no, like, it, like there was only two fires started and they hadn't gotten too out of control yet. So you can sort of, you can sort them out within a couple of minutes. Easily, cool. Um, and then what do you guys do? Um, well, Helen and Barakas uh, kind of like evacuated this area so we could clean it up a little bit. So should we go and rejoin with them and tell them what I heard? Uh, Tweak and Chuck? I think we should be looking out for somewhere to stay tonight. Oh, know. that too. My resources, as far as spells concerned, are, are, are diminishing, and uh, I would like a rest. I'd like a rest too. I'm very low in spells. Before going further down there, at least we know our enemy here. We could find something, uh, something around here, perhaps. Let's start having a look around uh, for maybe a cave dwelling or. Somewhere that's defended, we can, somewhere we can guard. I mean, there was the campsite you essentially found earlier um, that obviously had been attacked at some point, but it was, a, it was a somewhat defensible position. I think about the campsite and... Did, I mean, the bodies were obviously dragged around at that campsite. I don't know uh, if that's the safest location to be. <laughs> Well, do evil creatures uh, tend to attack the same place twice? I don't think so, from my knowledge, but I could be wrong. No, that, that's good logic. Oh, okay. I actually said something useful. So well, maybe... Lightning never strikes the same place twice. Exactly, that's the way I think. So... Uh, maybe we should head back to that campsite and clean it up a l little bit. I guess we'll start heading off then. I'll start heading towards the campsite. Wait. Yeah, as you guys are leaving, um, who's got a passive perception above 15? Me. So Callum, Callum and Thistle. So you guys hear it, just a... Uh, uh, it's like slow footsteps coming towards you. 
from give what direction? Just, um, from further from in the chamber, like not not the tunnel. So yeah, they're coming. They're essentially coming from deeper into this wide chamber with the mushrooms. You could give me a perception check to try to identify more information. Yeah, I'll do that. I've got a good perception. Um, that's twenty-three. Same. Okay, it twenty-three. Oh, that's good rolls. Um, there's not a lot. It's only a couple of things. If it, you you hear two sets of steps. Um, they sound bipedal. Um, and they're definitely making some sort of noise. Um. And it sounds like they're coming towards us. Yes. I'm going to take, I'll get my sling, not trying to shoot at them, but just trying to shoot well off in the distance, off to the, the, the right, let's say, and just try and distract them away, hopefully. Okay. Roll me an attack, just to see how accurate you are. Would be a 13. Okay, it's fairly accurate. You sling off a rock in the distance. I'm just going to roll. Okay. The sounds get louder. What do you guys do? What are, what, are, what, are you, what are the rest of you doing? Making up camp, I suppose. So you, well, you're basically skedaddling down the tunnel. You're moving away from the, the um, mushroom cavern. Pretty much. When you put it like that, I feel like it should stay. <laughs> I mean, something uh, is definitely com- something is definitely coming towards you. So yeah, we should we should. Well, do I hear that yet? Uh, you probably don't hear it yet, but you've been told about it. Yeah, we should get we should get out of here. Yeah, we don't have the resources to go up in this fight. If it is a fight, it's been a fight every time so far. Yes, yeah, so let's let's just start uh, getting away and, and finding a safe location. Someone give me a hand with Baracus. He's bloody heavy. Yes, I, I guess I could. I've I've got a decent strength. <laughs> Says the eight foot tall half giant. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, cool. Um, if you guys choose to move away, then that's fine. You move away. Nothing, well, nothing more will occur. Wait. Could be the people that were injured at the camp earlier. And it might not be. You're right. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> You're hard to convince. Okay, so carrying Baracus, um, I'm assuming like this all goes to help, and I like, just ends up carrying Baracus completely. I was just about to say I'll carry him like a baby. Um, just make it easier for Callum. Yeah, I mean he's probably just as tall. And probably weighs as much as I do. Exactly. So this is like, yeah, like carrying a baby. So I, I put him in the nursing position. Yeah, nice. Um, yeah, cool. Um, you guys are allowed to make your way back down the tunnel. And like the extra, the um, campsite wasn't too far away, but like 100 feet, like, and then another 60 odd feet down that tunnel. And then the campsite was there. Um, so yeah, you guys can make your way there and prepare for a long rest. I think we'll end there. That's it for this episode of the High or Lows podcast. If you'd like to get in touch, you can find us on Twitter at High or Lows with underscores between the words, or you can find me at Feebster. Thanks for listening to this episode. If you enjoyed listening, please leave us a five-star rating and review, which is one of the best ways you can support us. You can also join the discussion on our Reddit and Facebook pages, or even our Discord server and maybe play some games with us. Links can be found in the description below. Special thanks to Sirenscape for the background audio and Alex McPherson for providing the opening theme. I hope you can all join us next time as we continue on our adventure.